Hello everyone. In this section, we will see the CAN transport layer. As we know, the size of the CAN frame is 8 bytes and once it exceeds the 8 byte, then it is forwarded to the CAN TP, the CAN transport protocol. The data from the PDU is directly transmitted to the CAN interfaces or the CAN TP. The SATA size is more than 8 bytes, then it is sent it to the CAN TP. The CAN TP is responsible for segmentation and reassembling. So the CAN TP combine all the data and transmitted into CAN interface. This is the primary responsibility of the CAN TP, the CAN transport protocol. Based on the size of the PDU, the configuration can be done in a such a manner that the CAN TP or direct CAN interface layer can be the IPDU can be sent. The particular PDU with more than 8 bytes, then it will assemble the messages in the CAN TP. So, next we will see the CAN interface layer. The most interesting part is the CAN interface layer. We look the CAN interface layer from exclusive communications perspective. The, there are PDU that are available in multiple groups. There may be some PDU need to be transmitted to few PDU may need to be received. This all happen in the hand canvas. The final objective of the CAN interface layer is to push the PDU into the hardware unit. The hardware unit is set of register of memory and it converts the CAN like the PDUs into CAN high and CAN low and push it to the CAN bus. The CAN interface layer in order to push the into hardware interface, the CAN interface layer work in tandem with the CAN driver. The CAN MCAL driver one particular ECU module may have more than one CAN controller. All the CAN controller have different hardware object. We need to address of this object. The hardware address is available with the CAN driver. So the CAN interface module does this to interact only with the CAN driver and it takes the hardware address from the CAN driver and it maps it to the PDU. So this is the way the CAN interface is separated from the CAN controller. The OEM may change the CAN controller. The complete controller may be changed and the particular vendor CAN controller can be interfaced with the driver. The different hardware object provided by the CAN driver, the CAN if no need to worry about the hardware object. The CAN driver need to be read and all the addresses need to be mapped to the PDUs. The whole CAN interface layer is completely abstracted from the CAN driver. The CAN if is to map the PDU to the hardware object. The hardware objects are provided from the CAN driver. The role of the CAN driver is to push the PDU to the hardware object. The CAN driver has the physical address of the CAN controller register. The transmission and the reception of the hardware addresses are mapped in the CAN driver. This is how the whole mapping in CAN IF means the CAN interface layer and the CAN driver stages happens. This mapping also done in the BSW layer configuration. The BSW stack is end in the CAN if itself, the CAN interface layer itself. The MCAL layer is from the semiconductor vendor. Some BSW stack has pre-configured MCAL layers. So next step we will look into the CAN driver. There can be multiple CAN controller may be available in the ECU. The each CAN controller need to be properly configured so the data transfer happens properly. 
the can driver is the lowest layer the can driver interacts only with the can interface layer this will provide all interfaces and apis the interfaces means the data type and the data structures and the api to communicate between the can driver and the can interface layer and vice versa